Kyle here to talk about some tasty ways to enjoy grilled vegetables. Grilled vegetables. Your ti you know, timing is everything. It's perfect because yeah. who's turning their oven on today? Nobody. Nobody. No. So if you can brave the heat, get outside to the grill. Grilled vegetables are a delicious way to bring a new flavor, a new texture to your vegetables. Yeah. And you know I'm all about the vegetables, right? I don't care if you're cooking hot dogs and sausages with them. As long as you're getting the vegetables in, that's what I care about the most. It's very important and it looks delicious. One of our crew members, Megan, just said it looks like a rainbow out here. And I'm so glad she said that because we eat with our eyes. We want to eat something that is visually appealing. Right. And especially for kids, too. You want it to be cute. And I found with my kid that anything on a stick is a good thing to eat. Things so this stick. is a great way to just kind of maybe even get your kids exploring a little bit in the kitchen. So first up we have our rainbow vegetable kebabs mm -hmm. and you can pick any color vegetable that you want especially if you're going out to the public market finding things on sale anything that's in season is perfect. It's all grillable. All grillable. So what we have here is mushrooms, red onions, eggplant, zucchini, yellow squash, yellow peppers and tomatoes. Of course you can change it up any way that you want. Yep. The easiest way to do it is cut all your vegetables first ahead of time. Okay. And then you can skewer them however you want. The idea is that you want everything to be a uniform shape and size so that they kind of cook in the same way. I see. Yep. So if you have okay. a, just an itty bitty tiny sliver of zucchini, it's going to cook faster yep. than a mushroom. Okay. So that way you have it all even. But that way, if you have everything all made up, and then you can let your guests, if you're having perhaps a party, make their own kebab so everyone can have something that they like. Interesting. We have a kebab making a party. Kebab party. I thought so, that would be fun or for your kids just to get them involved and get them a little more excited and so what I do is I don't season these at all aside from salt and pepper okay. when you throw them on the grill just do a little bit of like pan spray cooking spray and then once they're done you can brush them with any kind of olive okay, oil like or vinaigrette here. that you want afterwards to bring that flavor on and that way your vegetables they don't get too overcooked or too caramelized you can do anything that you want. I did a balsamic vinaigrette last night. Anything you have in the fridge, it just brush it on at the end and you're good to go. I, I know romaine lettuce is also a favorite to, to, to grill. To grill, isn't yeah. it good? And yeah. so getting creative in the kitchen and just trying something out, you never know how, I'm sure no one thought that grilled romaine would be delicious, but here we are yeah, and it is really delicious. Good. So getting creative in the kitchen is a great it, way to Grilling uh, adds to the add flavor. veggies. Look at That's that, you right. piled them up nicely Yeah, over so here. this recipe is from the American Diabetes Association and I'm very excited because the American Diabetes Diabetes Association has just redone their recipe site. So okay. it's a little bit more user friendly, a little bit more interactive, and so it's going to be diabetesfoodhub.org from now on. Diabetesfoodhub.org. Food okay. And so I found this new recipe on yeah. there for a grilled vegetable Napoleon. Mm. So Napoleon is that traditional layered. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get a uh, bunch of different kinds of vegetables here. Yeah. I put it in three steps for you. First up, we have eggplant peppers, yellow squash, and zucchini. Okay. You're going to cut them evenly lengthwise. Like if that. you have a mandolin, that will work as well. Okay. Then you're going to take them over and you're going to grill them. And then you're going to cut them in half and you're going to layer them with what is my new favorite nice. cheese dip. So it's going to be Greek yogurt and a little bit of goat cheese wow. with some garlic. It looks and delicious. And I've got a little bite here for you. Okay, I'll really try it. We've got like 10 it. seconds left. So we'll give me your website real EmilyKyleNutrition.com and the new DiabetesFoodHub.org. Good. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me.